right. We're going to talk about lesson number five in Sunday School. So today, I'm kind of whoa, building a wall. Do you remember we talked last week about Jericho and, and how the walls were really thick and um, that they were really kind of scared about the Israelites coming? Well, today's story, we're going to talk about how the Israelites got to Jericho. So I'm building uh, a little bit of a tower. So I've got so I've got my little tower here. It's not exactly the way Jericho was, but it's just kind of a a little air, little demonstration of what happened because. I can't create exactly how this happened because I'm not God. But God was with the Israelites. And so here's my tower. All right, so I'm going to put this away, but that's my tower. So remember, Jericho is really, really, really strong, right? And the soldiers, they were pushing. Um, um, they, they, were there and they were guarding their building. But if I just built this wall, could I knock it down by blowing? Could I be like the big bad wolf and the three little pigs? <laughs> and could I blow this down? What do you think? Should I try? All right, let's go. <gasps> Maybe I should huff and puff and puff and puff again, right? <gasps> didn't work. Well, how could I knock this down? Do you think by pushing it, you think if I pushed it, it would fall down? I bet you you're right. If I pushed it, I bet you it would fall down. But it would take me a long time to build it up again for our story today. So we're going to leave it up. We know that if I pushed it down, because if I, it would fall down. But my blowing isn't quite getting that down, is it? Mm-mm. Well, today we're going to talk about how God helped the Israelites make that wall come down. So, the soldiers are waiting. They're watching. The tall walls are really thick. And God told Joshua, I will give you Jericho. You need to march around the city walls once a day for six seventh day march around the city seven times so that's what he told them now there's some other details so on the first six days that they're walking around well let's just pretend we're going to do that all right so the people were not allowed to talk only the priest would blow their horns. So, all right, so day one, day one. Day two. Day three. Day four. What do you all think those people in Jericho are thinking about this? People are walking around, the priests are blowing their horn, and nobody else is saying a word for four days. Well, what happened? The fifth day. They're at it again. The sixth day. Six days. All they did was hear horn blowing and they walked around the town one time. Now, we're on the seventh day. Now, the seventh day, God told them to do something different. He said, you're going to march around the, t the town seven times. But 
this time, the people are going to shout. So, oh my goodness, let's see if I can do this. I don't know how I'm going to shout and blow at the same time, but we're going to try it. All right, you ready? Do do yay! Do 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 might have messed up because she wasn't counting. <laughs> but seven times they did that. And do you know what happened? They blew their horns and they shouted <laughs> and all that wind, all that knocked it over. They didn't touch it. It was the voices of, that God chose to have it. The walls come come point down. So remember, there was one family that was saved, and that was Rahab's, because she had that red ribbon, remember from last week? And they, her and her family were saved. God is, it's amazing how he does things. They joined, in, at Rahab and her family, they joined the Israelites, and God is with the Israelites, and God is with you. So, I have a Bible verse today, and the Bible verse says, My help comes from the Lord, and that's from Psalm 121, verse 2. Now, Joshua couldn't win the battle against Jericho without God, and we can't win the battle against the devil without God because of Jesus. We have victory over the devil. Remember. The God who was with Joshua and the Israelites that knocked down that tower of Jericho is your God, and he is so powerful, and he will help you every day, and he, there is nothing he can't do, and he will take care of our sins when we ask for forgiveness. It's awesome. He's an awesome God. Can you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for being our Savior and for forgiving us and loving us. Thank you for helping us with all of our problems. We can put our trust in you. Amen.